Hello, friends. Uh, there's been a lot of things that I predicted. You may remember I played this game two weeks ago uh, when I bought the Japanese version. The frame rate was terrible, right? Uh, there was a lot of copium and some half troops. <laughs> uh, some people said that it was a dev build, which was why uh, the frame rate was so messed up. Now, that was actually true. Uh, this version, I was given a review key for this about a week ago, and I kind of didn't play it because of the frame rate. Uh, this version does have some balance changes, there's some bug fixes, uh, quality of life changes as well. Like, for instance, on the version that's currently being sold on console, you cannot skip uh, any of the manga cutscenes. Now, the manga cutscenes are great. I, I like the story in this game, I, I like the tongue in cheek meta humor and stuff, but. Uh, you know, you play the game more than once and you gotta sit through multiple unskippable cutscenes. They fix things like that, but as I predicted when I got the review key, uh, the game was still running terribly. Uh, I don't know. I thought maybe it was something on my end or something. I waited I waited and waited until release day, like maybe they're gonna put out a patch. Uh, that ended up being copium, but uh, the game actually released late last night. And uh, as I predicted, the game got review bombed, and rightfully so, because, uh, you know, I was playing Mario 1 in 1986, like 35 years ago. <laughs> and that game was also pixel art and ran at at least 60 FPS. Uh, people were complaining about it making them sick and stuff, which is definitely something I experienced. Uh, I definitely felt like playing this kind of gave me a headache, mostly because of the disorienting frame rate. Like, you could open up the menus. And the particle effects and stuff would be 60 FPS, but the game would be like this choppy, kind of weird, like, it looks like 30, but it felt like 15. There was a lot of input lag as well. So I guess they did some damage uh, control because I was about to leave for my other job. <laughs> and then I see that they have an open beta branch out now. So uh, I loaded the game up. I actually converted my save from the Switch version. That's actually something you can do as well. Uh, I will probably make a guide about that for those of you who have a hack Switch. Uh, you want to buy the game again for the better frame rate, but you don't want to play from scratch. Uh, it actually is possible to do that, but for now we're going to just show a little gameplay here. I don't have too much time to play the video right now, but uh, I figured I'd show that it's at least partially fixed now. <laughs> oh, well, that's not good. Another one. Game's a little confused because I transferred a save over and it's probably Barf. freaking out because of the achievements. Another cat. Are you done yet? I want to visit that cat cafe later. See, it's running pretty smoothly now. It's running at uh, 165 FPS on my end. I have to excuse all this. It's because I transferred my save. I might actually just start the game again from scratch because now it's running like it's supposed to. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last card. Let's bring them back to that skeleton and cash in on that smile. Uh. Oh. 
Completion is all messed up because I transferred my save. <laughs> I have some backup saves, could probably fix it, but uh, yeah, it seems to be running quite a bit better now. I think that they uh, should have predicted that this would give them bad reviews. I feel bad because I, I really enjoyed this game despite the bugs and the performance and stuff. It was very enjoyable to play, but uh, not acceptable to have a 30 FPS pixel art game in 2022. So if you're interested in trying this yourself, looks like my save's a little bit borked because I, I transferred it from the Switch. Uh, what you'll want to do is you want to go to the link in my description. Uh, it will tell you how to activate the beta branch. And from there, uh, you just follow the instructions and then the game should be running fine. They're saying that it's a uh, work in progress, but it looks like it's working pretty fine to me. So uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be any bugs or anything. but. At least they got out a fix. Uh, I'm not sure why it was released in the state it is regardless, but uh, it's working pretty well now nonetheless. So if you have the game and you're understandably annoyed and frustrated that it's running the way it is, uh, at least there's a partial fix for now. Uh, they did mention that the code was the same on the other versions, so uh, hopefully when they get those versions off of the dev build, uh, that should hopefully mean that uh, those versions will run better as well. Thanks for watching.